what in the world was your coach thinking going for two? What was that all about? I think, you know what, that's what we do. That's what, that's what we're about. We're an aggressive team, and it's been known, well, at least within this facility, that if we're in a tight game like that, we're going for it. When we were, going, we were, when we were playing the Colts on the last drive, well, Malarkey said before the drive, he says, we're going to score, we're going for two. So that, that's, how, that's how this team, we operate in the, in the fourth quarter. He doesn't seem like a guy who lets his hair down, Taylor. I'll be very honest with you. To be honest with you, I feel the same exact way. I mean, Malarkey's <laughs> not much of a hair down kind of guy, but right. I guess when he gets a wild hair, when he gets in the fourth and, fourth and short and in the fourth quarter, I think he's feeling it a little bit. But what, what goes on in a huddle when, when it is now time to go for two and you hear that the coach is doing that with three, three and change to go on the road, it's zero degrees out basically. What's going on in a huddle when you get a call like that coming from the sideline? Honestly, so many things are happening. It's not that huge of a deal. Sorry, Philip Supernaut just knocked on the door and gave me the finger, so it was tough for me to Who did respond that? there. But, um, no, when you're when you're in the fourth quarter of a game like that, and it's it's all of that is going on, and it's negative whatever wind chill, you kind of don't really have an opportunity to think. You just know we have our two point plays. We've had them in, in the books for a while, so we knew exactly what they're going to call. And uh, it was a run pass option, and they had seven in the box, so Marcus put it to the pass and. Yeah, they just covered it pretty well. I actually didn't even see the play yet. What's what's uh, Marcus like in the huddle? Marcus is exactly how he is uh, off the field, on the field. Calm, collect, man a few words. But I'll tell you what he did do, which really fired me up. Okay. Because we ran, we ran the two-point play. And um, if you watch the play, actually, when the ball snapped, I'm on a knee, and Jack is looking at me. So he and I are both laid off the ball. And... Um, the first read wasn't open, and nothing was open, really. So he threw it, and whatever got hit and threw it. And then um, I walked into Marcus, and I was like, hey, man, sorry about that. I didn't even know we changed the play, blah, blah, blah. And he said, and I'm going to paraphrase a little bit, but he said, F that. He goes, what's going to happen is the defense is going to stop them. Then you guys, all you have to do is give me time, and we're going to go win this game. And I was like, oh, my God, hmm. yes. And I was just fired, dude. It was awesome. It was really cool to see him get that firing. He said that as soon as the two point conversion was uh, was no good. Uh, yeah, it was it was unbelievable. He knew he knew exactly what was going to happen. And then for suck up to hit a fifty three yarder, just boot it and negative fourteen wind chill. Let's well, talk about a hero right there. And his 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 career long is fifty four. Probably sunny, you know. Flowers of blossoming, all that nonsense. Not in the wintertime, buddy. Not when he did it. Yeah, and that was after Andy <laughs> Reid tried to, to ice him, and he didn't. He 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 got a second swing in the leg, and he didn't. He didn't miss that one. That right was... before I got on this call, I was actually in a special teams meeting watching the field goal, and they had the TV copy, and you can see Andy Reid kind of gives a chuckle to himself, like he knew what he just did. He knew what he did. Mm. <laughs> and he's got a phenomenal mustache. You got to respect him. Certainly in the cold. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.